Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another Conspiracy Theory video. Today, we're going to be talking about Google Conspiracy Theories. So if you guys didn't know, YouTube has stopped recommending and monetizing videos that use the word conspiracy in them. Now I cannot get monetized because I have not met the new recommendations that were set about this time last year, but I would love for you guys to do a little favor and send this video to all of your friends so some people can see it. Because I'm not sure how true it is that YouTube is not showing any videos with the word conspiracy. Also, I have to say that everything in this video is theory and not fact. It is also not meant to harm any individual or business. And as we all know, YouTube is owned by Google, so I don't know if they're even going to let this video go up, but I did give the disclaimer. Everything in this video is theory. The first theory we're going to be talking about today is a theory that was really popular two years back on Reddit. It has resurfaced on Instagram lately. That theory is, is that Google is the Illuminati. I mean, this isn't really that crazy to think about. Google has access to all of your information, your search history, your interests, and even your location. This theory started all because of the Google Chrome logo. If you take the spirals in the Chrome logo, you can easily make out the number 666. And it is also theorized that the Illuminati worships the devil in certain cases. And at this time, there isn't any more information to back it up. It's made apparent by a Reddit user that the logo is actually an object breaking orbit which would mean Google supports the large universe theory, which can be ungodly, but it doesn't necessarily mean they worship Satan. It could just be on top of Google is infinite, so it's, it's a large universe of sites, and you can find all the information you want on Google. I don't know, it's still kind of weird to think about. Subliminal messages have been used for a very long time. Now, I'm not going to be getting into the history of them, but I do want to share with you a conspiracy that is too crazy not to be true. Subliminal messages are known for being in video and song formats. It happens so quickly, our consciousness cannot pick up on it, but it goes to our subconscious. For example, if I was watching TV, and a quick frame of the McDonald's logo popped up. My brain didn't analyze it, but it was stored. So now, next time I'm driving down the streets and I see McDonald's, I'm like, I've seen this somewhere. We should go eat there. So how could Google use this? Well, it's quite simple. Google could just team up with companies such as Amazon. So Amazon might tell Google, to pop up their logo, so next time you're thinking about buying something online, they think, let's go to Amazon, or if they want to AI, smart AI, they're like, let's buy an Alexa. Now there isn't real proof to back this up, it's more of just a fun thing to think about. But have you ever been surfing the web on Google? and you suddenly have the urge to do something that's completely unrelated to that website, maybe you look at an ad. Or was it the ad? Here's a fun little challenge for you. Somewhere in this video, I hid a subliminal message. If you can find it, make sure you comment the timestamp, or as close as you can get to the timestamp, and you will get a shout out in my next video. Good luck. So this is also an older theory, but I haven't seen very much coverage on it lately, and some things may have changed. This theory is that Google is always listening. 
Have you ever just been talking to your family about what gift you should buy someone or where to go eat, and then all of a sudden, ads start popping up for food or for cool new gift ideas? 2019. Well, it might be because Google is always listening into your microphone and catching keywords to bring ads. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be every website, because Google might just team up with certain websites, but it seems to happen to quite a bit of them. For instance, if you said the word food, Google would then start bringing up ads for Wendy's or Taco Bell or McDonald's or fast food. A guy on YouTube with the name of Michalo is the person that made this theory really popular. With one of his videos on experimenting with it, got over 10 million views. So here in a second, I'm going to do an experiment just like his. First, I'm going to hold up a piece of paper with a subject on it. It can be food, clothes, whatever. And I'm going to go to websites with tons of different ads on them and see if any ads for that particular thing pops up. Then I'm going to start using that word a lot. Go to those same websites and see if ads for that thing pops up. This experiment was done by him four different times, I do believe, and, well, he got some pretty chilling results every time. So credit out to him for this part of the video, and let's get started. Alright, so we are here on FARC.com, so I guess it's just real news, real funny, so it's like a floor can, I guess. I don't know, but this is what uh, Michalo used. So, yeah, I'm just going to click on some of these and bring up some websites, ads. Uh, so, yeah, this right here is our topic. I'm sorry it is on graph paper. Um, this, this is the first thing I found. So, if you guys can't read that, then I'll just put it up on the, on the video. So, yeah, that'll be fine. So, now let's click on this one. Okay. So, yeah, my internet is horrible, so I'm probably going to cut some things out here. Alright, so, uh, yeah, we have some. We have some. Uh, so, yeah, we have this right here. We have this. Um, yeah, oh, well, have a Rolex. That's kind of, but nothing is another one. Nothing like <clears throat> exactly what our topic is. Man, there's a lot of these uh, watches. Wow. All right, so. First website is, I mean, maybe they're watching through webcam, I don't know, but that wasn't exactly it. So, now we'll click on this one, let it load, and I'll be back when it loads, because my internet is horrible once again. Alright, so we are here on this website. Um, it looks like we are not, uh, so far, we're not uh, getting any website with uh, any ad with our uh, topic on it. Um, yeah, we, yeah, I don't think we got any. Okay. So, that's good, I guess. Um, yeah, let's just click on the next one, I guess. And, now let's wait for that one too. All right. So, oh, this is a video. Pause that. So, yeah, we are not getting any. Oh, here's. Oh, is this? Oh, uh, this is college saving plans. I thought that was our topic there for a second. Um, casino and hotel. Uh, this website doesn't have very many ads. That's surprising. So now, I'm going to start using our word, and we are going to refresh all of these sites and see 
if anything surrounding this pops up. So yeah. Hey mom. Um, I need some clothes. Um, maybe some shoes. Maybe some a shirt. I need some new pants. I need I need some new clothes because this stuff this stuff isn't just gonna cut it. Maybe I can get some double T merch. I don't know, but I need some new clothes. Clothes, clothes, clothes. Yes, I just need to scroll through a few articles first, Mom, and then we'll go shopping for some clothes. So yeah, let's refresh the page. And I'll be back when it refreshes. Oh my gosh, guys, look. Look at the first thing, the first ad that pops up. Oh my gosh. That, oh, that's insane. I never, oh my gosh. Is there any more? No, that was the only one, but still. Oh. Oh, now it's refreshing the, another ad. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, so now let's refresh this one. Oh, that, oh, that's so creepy. Like, it may not be as creepy for you guys watching, but that is creepy. Now, the thing is, uh, while this is doing whatever, Google's technically, if, if this is real, Google is not doing anything illegal. We all, when we click that accept, when we're downloading Google, when we click the accept button, we might be accepting to, oh yeah, we're going to watch through your webcam, we're going to listen to your microphone. We, we don't know what we are clicking accept on. So, yeah, see about, see about this one. Wallets, I mean, it's kind of like a fashion thing. Wait. I think that's a tire shop. I think that's why discount tire. Um, but yeah. I didn't see any on this one, but that first website, that was crazy. Wow. Wow, okay. So before I refresh this one, I want to say it again. Okay, Mom, we're about to leave. We're about to go get some clothes. Let me just read this real... Let me just read this article real quick. And maybe I can get some ideas of what clothes I want. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. I mean, still, this is already a successful thing. Just because of that first website. Maybe Google has caught on to what I'm doing and they're not going to do it no more. At least while they know I'm recording or something. I don't know. That, that's still... That was, that was creepy. All right, so let's scroll down through here. Um, looks like it's, like, bringing us down with this ad. Um, yeah, I don't see any. It was just that first website. Um, I'm going to refresh this one one more time. Mom, we're about to go get some clothes. I really need some new clothes. Um, uh, that's still, that for, that still creeps me out. I know, I know, I'm just, I know what I'm doing. You guys are like, you're talking too much. I know. Okay. Hey, we don't need that. Um. Um, I don't see me. But the thing is, I'm getting two different phones. And I said, Mom, let me scroll through these articles before we go shopping for clothes. So, could scrolling through articles cue buy our new phone? I don't know, but it's still really convincing with just the fact that that first, web that first website brought up clothes. 
after I was talking about that, that is enough for me to believe that Google was probably listening to our microphones, but that is all theory, is not a fact. But I don't know, it might be a fact. Did we click accept on, yes, listen through my microphone all the time as soon as I click on the Chrome app? I don't know. Well, let's get back to the video. Google Translate Theory is a theory that took the internet by surprise. As of right now, it is debunked. Kind of. Before we get to the most logical explanation of what is happening to Google Translate, let me tell you exactly what was happening and is still happening, just in case you haven't heard within the last year. So, on 4chan, a thread started to gain popularity about a creepy message system in Google Translate. The messages that it gave varied. It gave things like, Satan is in the shadows. It even gave you some information about your Google account. It truly is creepy. Sometimes it even gave out email addresses and email conversations. So, the way to access this is by sending your language to Somali and translate it to English. Now, if you want to ask a question like, are you here, you'd have to do it by every two letters, like this. Or you could just type two letters randomly, like this. And then, it just gives you whatever it wants to give you. Now, when I first heard the theories about, ooh, someone hacked Google and they're trying to get help, or that it was the Illuminati's emails, I was very, very skeptical. Until my cousin convinced me to do it, and, well, this is what drug me into it. So, as you saw, we just typed in random gibberish, typed in K-A a couple of times. What we got was the words from the pyramid, about five times. And you know what we were thinking when we saw the word pyramid. Yeah, the Illuminati. So, there is a theory that is logical, but it's not as fun to think about as it being the Illuminati's emails, but... This is the one that's most likely true. So, Google Translate uses adaptive machine learning, which means the words that it spits out, they get from tons of different websites. Since Somali is spoken by only 0.0019% of people on Earth, there isn't very many websites in the language, and since you're just typing random gibberish into the translator, it doesn't know what to do, so it just spits out random bits and pieces from websites. Another theory is, that's kind of logical, is that a developer decided to put a creepy easter egg into Google Translate. And what a perfect language to do it for, and in Somali, because nobody speaks it. Thank you everybody so much for watching this video. I'm already trying to think of what my next video will be. I had tons of fun making this video. I hope you had fun watching it. If you made it this far, comment down DONE in all capital letters, and I will pin the first person to do it. Don't forget to take a part of that challenge of finding the subliminal message in this video. Remember, you get a shout out if you find it, so just watch the video a couple more times, or two, or three, or... And remember, YouTube is not recommending videos about conspiracies anymore, so share this video with all of your friends. I hope you had fun watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.